Excuse me, excuse me, Jupiter. Just know Jupiter is on there. Come here, be with mommy. Yes, okay, stay there. Can you sit? Yeah, wow, cute. Mucho, mucho más tarde. Hello there, and welcome to Nat Chats, a chatty conversation with me, Natalie, and you, of course. <laughs> I'm excited for this. Ah, I'm a little bit nervous. I currently have a beautiful mushroom cacao reishi mix. It's very hippie of me, but man, how rude of me. Let me actually grab you one. Hold on. Oh my gosh, what am I doing here? Here you are, darling, for you. Not for you, Jupiter. Sorry, baby. So honestly, the purpose of this new series is just a chance for us to hang out together, to relax with each other, and I don't know, I feel like I do a lot of scripted content on this channel, which I really enjoy and I love, but I also really enjoy what I do over on the vlog channel, which is kind of just like put the curtain down, relax, bring you guys into my life, and kind of just share those moments together. I want to do that on this channel. I don't know what you guys feel. Maybe this will be a thing, maybe it won't, but welcome to a little day in our life. Yeah, Jupiter's over here. Hello, Jupiter. Why are you looking so Sad. Why are you looking so sad? Jupiter got his teeth cleaned the other day, and so he has a little bald spot. He's actually covering it up. Me? Oh, he's a little sluggish. Bienvenidos a mi oficina. One of the biggest things that has been going on in my life is a ton of home renovations. I actually posted a home tour like three years ago, and then I just removed it because not only, first of all, I felt like it was an invasion of my own privacy, and second of all, it didn't have an element of love to it. And now Dennis and I, we hired an interior designer, Christian. Oh my God, I love her so much. From Emma Ravy designs and she has been so incredible and she's literally helped me design every single piece of my house and one of this is my office and uh, right now it's a little bit janky because we have all the film set up going on here another big thing we're doing is we're completely renovating the film space I'm so excited to show you ah! So this is kind of the inspiration. This is what we're going for. It's a very like vaporwave type of dreamy vibe, which I love and I'm just obsessed with. It's like nostalgia meets the future. And I'm very excited. So we're currently getting that created. It's just a big progress. So currently I've actually just been filming in this room. You see how weird it is? Like when Dennis isn't helping me set up the shots, it's like, I'm kind of a noob at this. Okay, let's turn her around. I just wanted to give you guys a new perspective. Damn it, it's so complicated. Anyways, oh, there's nothing on this side. Let me get comfortable, okay. This is usually how I sit. I've been a YouTuber for, I started in 2014. I'm very young, impressionable and naive. It was just me, myself and I, and then we grew our team a little bit bigger. Dennis came on to the team and he was actually studying to be an anesthesiologist, which is crazy, but he did end up Finishing, and I'm so proud of him uh, biotech and molecular biology and so it's just weird right like hiring someone that is so very much just um, like sciencey as opposed to artistic but he was helping me with like the cameras and all this stuff like I tell everyone that if it wasn't for him I would still be shooting on my Canon T3i which there's nothing wrong with that but like see what I'm saying Dennis creates the quality in this channel I've now been on YouTube for I'm going on seven years and I will say the love for it has diminished a little bit and I think like with everything in life it's like a, a flower, like you have to continue watering it and like giving it love. I was literally doing everything. I was managing, I was editing, I was, you know, negotiating brand deals. Like I was just doing all these things that I was not used to. And so <sighs> I burnt out. And then I think that my expectation of like what a YouTuber life was like is like someone that's super relaxed all the time. Damn, their life is easy. You just get to record yourself. But there's like a lot that comes with putting yourself out there. It's like a mental, I don't want to say the F word, but it's like a mental <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> like you're constantly watching yourself, analyzing yourself. You pick yourself apart at all times. At least that's what my experience has been. I never thought I'd get to that, but I have. Like everything I create now, I'm so critical of because I've already done so much. Like it's been six years. Like what more can I create, you know? Um, So I don't feel like I have that spark or like that passion for it as much as I used to. But what still keeps me going is like my, the community that I have. And it's also weird because I feel like the more you grow, the more you want to get small in a weird way. Like I almost crave a smaller niche community, which is why I thought this would be kind of fun to do on this channel because not everyone's interested in my personal life. And I'm just like, this is kind of a fun way for me to create that tribe and like continue to, to nurture that. So anyways, that was kind of a long winded uh, answer, but that's that. Jupiter's sleeping over here. If you ever wonder where he is, he is um, at my feet somewhere. Hey Jupiter. 
Hey, Jupiter. Anyways, I thought it'd be fun to answer these questions around my house because why not? It's kind of fun, right? It's kind of cool. No. Look at these gorgeous mangoes that my in-laws neighbor gave me. Oh, they're from Jamaica. He like literally gardened them. They're gorgeous. I want to start a garden. But on to the next question. Back to my sitting question position. When are you going to get a little one to join your family? Eee! Oh my gosh. Um, this is a question that as I grow older, I'm 27 now. I keep hearing it more. Everyone's having kids, you know. If you're Hispanic, you know when there's like a bunch of people who are always having their 15, like the quinceañeras. Like that was like a phase of my life. Then it was like the marriage phase. And now it's like the baby phase. That's the man that's gonna make it happen. I'm another He's another face. Recently, I've started to feel more pressure to have children, but Dennis and I yesterday were sitting in the living room watching Luca, and I was just kind of telling him, like, I still feel like a child. <laughs> Whenever God wants it to happen, we're not intentionally trying. I really don't know. I do feel like that question puts a lot of pressure on people. Maybe people should be a little more sensitive to it. Not anytime soon. Let's go outside. Okay, let's go over here. This is kind of nice. Oh my God, it's so humid. Are you kidding? Ugh, Florida life. <laughs> Welcome to my next house project. If you follow me on Instagram, you know how obsessed I've become with rock climbing. It has just become my new passion and my new love. And so Dennis and I decided to freaking go all out. And in our garage, we're building a little rock climbing wall, which is so exciting and I'm happy. So this is where we're at right now, just to give you context. Should we go under here? This is kind of fun. Hello, amigos. Okay. You seem happy and content. I want to know how it's been. It's been tough lately. I hit a little depression. I actually vlogged about this, but I'm not sure if I posted it. But yeah, I, I went through depression like recently, really bad. A lot of things happened in my life. You know what? If you're interested in that deep ass heart to heart, I will either link the video down below if you're curious and watching it, or I will leave it at the end of this video because it's it's like just me being sad on the floor with Jupiter. So. But I kind of give you a little insight into that. Oh my God, I fit. This makes me feel like James and the Giant Peach. I love it. Ay, Dios mío, por qué? What am I doing with my life? It's my library. Ah, okay. This is where the new library is. I'm very excited. It's cute. I actually like it a lot more than where it was before because I can actually appreciate it and like walk through it. This is in my loft area, which is really nice. I haven't read a book in a long time. Anyways, next question. I saw this question and I was like, what the heck? But here we go. Are you jealous your sister is being a mom first? No, I am not jealous that my sister is being a mom first. I'm actually really excited to be an aunt. If you don't know, my sister is pregnant. We have a baby on the way in October. And I'm just so happy to be able to live vicariously through her. Some people have the assumption that I've struggled like having babies and I just want to squash that because I have not. I'm sorry if I've given that assumption of myself. I think it was like last year where I thought I was pregnant. I, I was wrong and I wasn't and so I think maybe that's why some people are like oh my gosh is it weird that your sister is like pregnant now and this and that but the reality is I'm so happy I get to be an aunt I, I get to live vicariously through her and just squish a little baby and then whenever it starts crying and needs to change its diaper I'll just give it back to my sister it's gonna be amazing I'm gonna be in Arkansas in October it's gonna be so fun and Sir Dennis is like He's gonna experience what it's like to also kind of have a little child. We are both noobs at this whole thing. Like we, really? my, my life, life is. <laughs> is. <laughs> well, you know, we never got to change diapers. Dennis and I have never had any of that experience. So I'm very excited. Hello. This is the room that will be our future child's room. Currently, it is the storage room. It has no purpose or rhythm or anything. Do you guys remember this room? It was like my art room for a while and then it is a nothing. Will you, again, give more journaling videos? They are so good and aesthetic. I stopped journaling. I don't know, I stopped journaling, I stopped reading. I think that's what happens when you become sad. But yes, I would love to um, get back to it. If you guys are interested, I don't even know if you guys like journaling videos. Like sometimes I literally just wanna show you guys all the cute stationery that I buy because I'm just that girl. And then there was that one room that you didn't put love into. My darlings, this indeed is our master room. We don't even have a proper bed sheet on here. And this is our life. What is your first kiss story? If you guys really care to know, let me know down below. Another time, okay? But I'm like about to be 30. We can't be out here, guys. See, it's dangerous. Welcome to Dennis's room. It's so dark. Somebody asks, how do you and Dennis keep sparks in marriage? We have date night every week, but if we don't do it, that's fine. Life goes on. But anyways, this was the question I was actually laughing to. How can you smell good when you're constantly period farting? <laughs> Okay, you guys, I'm gonna take a little short break. Um, as fun as this has been, I need to get to work, people. So I'm just gonna leave you on a time lapse. I hope you don't mind, but you know, you are hanging out with me today, so I, I do have to work. Bam, what an incredible angle.
time to organize the gym. Okay, you guys wanna hear the craziest thing? I had the opportunity to speak to the one and only CMO of Peloton. It was insane. When I got the bike, I wasn't on a Peloton kick. And now that it's like in my gym and stuff, I just wanna show you my cute little outfit. And then once I did that, I just stopped getting on Peloton. I got depressed. So this is my first time back. Wish me luck. Dennis's profile is called Turkey Dinner. My battery died, but Peloton was great. What do you guys call your pets? I'm really curious. Do you also have like a billion names for them? Oh, he's so cute. He's my little baby. He's my little squishy. He's my little buddy, my little cake. Vamos a caminar? Okay, before we go out on a walk, I'm gonna do a few quick questions. A lot of people wanna know about my first kiss. Gosh darn it. I will tell you guys next time, okay? At what age did you move out of your parents' house? When I got married. One and three. What is your fave TV series? Jane the Virgin. I love it. I love it so much, but why didn't she end up with Michael? KT Michael all the way. Are high school relationships worth it? I would say, yeah. Honestly, age is really just a number. Maturity just depends on the individual. And I I was with Dennis in high school, so. And I married him. Do you have any products you recommend for period? I have a ton. I wanted to do a video on all of my favorite period products or like a period morning routine. Maybe you guys are interested in that. Maybe not, I don't know. But yeah, I have a lot. A lot of period uh, questions, period horror stories, and and how did I name my period Helga? When I think of Helga, you know, she comes every month. I think of the lady from Matilda, that really mean teacher. Like that's Helga to me. It's like, she's uninvited. She's rude. Someone's coming in. designer here, Christian. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Got some gorgeous succulents for the front. Ooh. So anyways, Chris is the one that's been helping me with all the decor. She's fabulous. I'm so excited for you guys to meet her. She's literally the best. I love her so much. So good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like happy. Wait, do you want to introduce yourself? Maybe say hi? Ah! Chris, hi, this is my amazing hi. home designer. She's been so sweet and fun and just incredible to work with and literally retransformed this entire house. How has it been? It's been a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. It's been crazy, crazy all over the place, <laughs> but you know, I think we accomplished yeah. a lot. We're always so excited. Every time we have these meetings, <laughs> we're like little girls, like, ah, let's get it together. <laughs> I'm exhausted. My my friend's coming over, we're gonna watch The Bachelor. And then my mom's coming over and I'm gonna help her purchase some stuff for the baby shower. But I got this in the mail for Sir Jupiter. Jupiter has been looking a little bored recently and I wanted to get him some toys that were stimulating. So this is that. Oh my God, it looks like a taco. We're just gonna open one today, boy, cause I'm tired, okay? <laughs> this is why I can't have children yet, guys. No mete todos los treats como por acá para esconderlos y ellos tienen que olerlos. Vea, le gustó. Jennifer just arrived. That's our night with Jennifer. So Jennifer and I meet every single Monday and we watch The Bachelor and we talk about girl things. And <laughs> today we are upgrading to a little bit of wine. Wow, Jennifer seems kind of professional <laughs> at this. Oh, see how it's kind of fizzy? That's yeah, why. Seriously. Like that? Cheers for a successful baby shower for Angelica. Oh, yes. Cheers. Cheers for our friendship. <laughs> Cheers for Jupiter being here with us today. Why did you see it? I tried already. Give me one. Oh my god. 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 Oh This is so weird.